We have got a big unboxing today. Blitzway presents the Ultimate Masterpiece Series Ghostbusters Special Pack. Who are you gonna call? So it looks like first we have the Ghostbusters sign, the police barricade. Slimer looks like he's wrapped up in here. And his arms do come separate, so there's a little bit of an assembly required with this. Just regular ball sockets, you pop them right into the body. There's some great detail in the face and the teeth and the eyes, little freaky beady eyes. And he's even got little individual pointy fingernails. I think this is a really good sculpt for Slimer. And the base here, it's a clear plastic base. And it actually looks like there's a crack in it already. Hopefully that's not gonna be that much of an issue. You just pop the stand into the bottom and Slimer sets on it like that. And then the police barricade here actually comes in four pieces. It looks like these two are supposed to connect at these points. And then you just slide the legs into each section there. This is actually pretty long too. It's at least over a foot. And then the last thing that was an exclusive to the four pack is the double-sided Ghostbusters logo sign. Now we're gonna get into the Ghostbusters figures themselves. Gonna start off with Stanson Venkman. These are actually patches that are on here. It, it feels like these are removable, but I'm not sure. I don't want to just tear them off of there. But yeah, these are the actual Ghostbusters patches fabric. Just slid the covering off. Just a quick look at it. And right inside is the Peter Venkman figure. And also have the instructions in there, but I'm not going to bore you by reading through all these. Alrighty, I've got Venkman's box open here. I think it's a really good likeness of Bill Murray. A little bit soft, but still very good. He's got his name patch on the front, logo on the side, all of his equipment around his belt, untucked pants and boots, of course. Then along with the black gloves hands, you get four bonus hands here. And then below that, we had another layer, a stand, a bunch of more gloved hands. I couldn't tell what these were at first, but it looks like those are actually, yeah, those are cigarettes. And then you have got the Proton Pack. Highly detailed. Does feel a bit fragile, though. And that is right next to the Proton Stream. And also, last things that came with this figure, you have the Ghostbusters sign, and then a bunch of magazine and newspaper clippings that you see throughout the movie. Next up, let's check out Ray. Same type of box as Venkman. You got the patch on the front again, and an image of the figure on the back. We've got Ray's package open now, and I actually think his sculpt is a bit better than Venkman's. Basically the same suit as Venkman. Does look a little bit pudgier though. Comes with gloved hands this time, and pants are tucked into the boots. Couple extra hands here, smoking hand, pointing hand, more gloves. And for the second part of the pack, you've got the stand, a bunch more gloved hands that can hold the ghost trap. you got the ghost goggles, proton pack. Of course, you've got another proton stream. Yeah, let's just get a little look at this here. And it also comes with the foot pedal attached. And then also the goggles. And lastly, the Ray figure. He does come with the exact same magazine and newspaper clippings as Venkman did. So it looks like all the same ones are going to be included in each figure. Next up, let's get Winston out of his package. Once again, same style as the other two. First off, once again, same magazine and newspaper clippings. All right, here we go with Winston. A few people were saying that they thought his complexion looked a little too dark, but I think he looks good. Bunch of extra things hanging around his belt here. A few more hands to hold cigarettes and whatnot. Of course, comes with a proton pack and proton stream like everyone else. Uh, looks like he also comes with the ghost trap and foot pedal. I figured this would have been an exclusive for Ray. Some folded gloves, a couple more glove hands, and his stand. And last but certainly not least, we have Egon. Same layout as the previous three packages, just to show you. There we go, 
with Egon. He actually doesn't come packed with the glasses on. I already just put them on just to show you what he's supposed to look like. And also, I'll say again, I like how they have these extra hooks on here so you can have their equipment hanging from their belts. A few extra hands again. And then over here, we go to his stand. A bunch more hands for holding things. The PKE meter. I wonder if this actually opens up. Yep, it does. So that's a cool little bonus. Of course, his own proton pack and the proton stream again. And just to show you again, the same magazine and paper clippings. So there you have it. I pre-ordered these back in September of 2016, so I've been waiting for them for a while now. So expectations were high, and I think that Blitzway completely knocked it out of the park with this. There are a couple things that I'm worried are a little fragile. Like I showed you, Slimer's stand was cracked as soon as I opened it from the box. And some of the accessories do feel a bit brittle, especially Egon's glasses. I'm worried about those over time. Now, honestly, I'm not sure if these are still available. I ordered them from Flossies, and my pre-order price was just shy of $800. That was only for the limited four pack, which I don't believe they're making any more of now. I think you might still be able to get the individual figures, but not all of them together. So you wouldn't be able to get Slimer or the Barricade or the Ghostbusters sign. But if you are a Ghostbusters fan who didn't pick these up yet, I would definitely try getting a hold of them. These are the first real high-end Ghostbusters figures we have, and I think they're great. So if you want me to do an in-depth review of any or all all of these at some point in the future, you know, just let me know. So that's going to wrap things up for today. If you haven't already, remember to like and subscribe. And if you love all things Halloween, horror movies, and monsters, be on the lookout for some more of my videos in the future.